गाइस वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रो पंच इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज वी आर कमिंग अप विद न्यू वीडियोस एवरी वीक हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विद अ टॉपिक कॉल्ड कन्वर्टेशन व्हिच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सिग्नल्स इन सिस्टम सो वी हैव सीन व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ कन्वर्टेशन आवर इंट्रोडक्शन एंड वी हैव आल्सो कवर्ड एनालिटिकल कन्वर्टेशन एंड लीनियर कन्वर्टेशन नाउ वी मूव ऑन विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक व्हिच इज पीरियोडिक कन्वर्टेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट So what is periodic or uh, circular convolution? Let's say we have a discrete time periodic signal, for which has a duration minus infinity to plus infinity, but there are some set of values which are repeated. So that comes under periodic convolution. Let's say I have a signal. I'll just draw it for better understanding. I have a signal over here. From minus n to plus n, so this is my x of p of n. What I do is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus one. Point five. Some values. Zero point five. And minus zero point five. And then one over. One point five. Zero point five. Minus zero point five. And so on. So the signal is here as well. so i explain you what happens over here is now you can see after four samples the signals is uh, the signal is getting repeated so this is my first cycle after which the signal is getting repeated that means my n is equal to four samples after four samples my signal is repeating continuously so that is periodic convolution now let's say if there is any shift or any advanced or Let's say the graph is shifted here or moved to that side, so that won't change my cycle or let sample after which the signal is getting repeated. So that is periodic convolution or circular convolution, which is given by the definition is sine, which means circular convolution, and my impulse. Which is given by summation of, which is minus infinity to plus infinity. If you have seen, but here it will be from zero to n minus one, which is first cycle, or you can say valid for first cycle. The rest remains the same. So you need to remember one thing. Uh, some points over here which is the signals like y of p of n x of p of n and h of p of n remember all should be all should be of same period only then we can do this circular convolution if if n over here are four samples and n over here are not four samples then we can't do that and it should be this is first point the samples are selected sample period is selected such a way it is of power of 2 so this is some points which you need to remember now let's take an example i'll take determine Output y of n. So x of p is given over here. I'll just draw it. X of p and h of p draw together. This is my x of p of n. Minus n to plus n. This is my h of p of n. Into plus 
I'll just take the same example. And it is repeating over here and here as well. Now I'll just draw my impulse signal. This one, one, two, two. So this is my impulse signal. Now the sample R4 over here. This is one cycle. After that cycle, the signal repeats itself over here as well. Now let's start solution. To obtain y of p of n, we use circular convolution. Follow solution, which is defined as x of p of n into h of p of n. Which in turn is given by k zero to n minus one x of p of k h of p of n minus k. You can do this using metric, which will be given as x p of n x p of n n into n and h p of n n into y so this is the matrix for uh, format in which you do i'll just continue i don't know Okay, so yp of 0. As there are four samples, as mentioned before, it should be of the same period. So, the first will be this, n into 1. That means n number of rows and one column. And for xp, it will be xp of 0, xp of 1, xp of 2, xp of 3. Then the zero will shift over here, so it will be xp of zero and one year xp of two, and that will shift over here. So this is the best part of the circular convolution where the samples are just shifted by one in diagonal format. So xp will be here now in this case. Then here it will be two, and xp here will be three final will be here then xp of 1 xp of 2 and xp of 3 this is my matrix for that which will be 4 by 4 where you have 4 sample which is multiplied by hp which is impulse so it will be 0 1 2 and 3 I hope you are understanding this. I am just writing it in formula or notation wise. Denote, I mean. Now I'll just substitute all the values I have over here. Yp of 2, yp of 3. So my first value is 1, 1.5, 1, 1 1.5, 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5 so it will be repeated over here as we have discussed so 1 1.5 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 substitute just substituting the value 0 0.5 minus 0 .5. so as you can see it is in circular format and after four samples the matrix is completed 
and that is one one two two. What you need to do is you need to multiply these two matrix. Now the first row will be multiplied by the column. The second row again with the column. The third again with the column. So let just see how I'm doing. One into one one minus point five into one will be minus point five. Point five into two will be plus one. One point five into two will be plus three. So this is one point five into one. One point five plus one minus one. One point five point five into two it will be plus one again. Point five into one point five. One point five into one. One point five. One into two plus two. Minus point five minus one. Minus point five into one minus point five. Point five plus point five. One point five into two plus three. One into two plus two. So just add this. Simplify it to five. Four point five. One one, which will be two point five. Then one one, two four. Uh. One point five two four and one three point five one five one seven five. So this is my final output. After this samples, the signal will repeat itself. I'll just show you. From minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is my signal. If you draw it in exam, it is much better for understanding. Zero for zero, it is four point five. Then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It will be two point five. So two point five. I am just marking it over here. Two point five. Then it will be. Three and here it will be five. Then again four point five, four point five, and two point five, three and five, and this goes on. And here as well it will be start. It will be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So. Five, then three, then two point five and four point five and so on. So this is my first cycle, which is for four samples, and after that the signal is getting repeated. From minus n to plus n. So this is how you solve the periodic convolution sums. What we have done over here is we need to check if the samples are same for both my input and my impulse. After that, you use the convolution of defined formula for a circular convolution and you use matrix to solve the sum. You just Write it in circular format by getting shifted in diagonal and the impulse, and just multiply it row column row column row column. You get the final matrix, which is your output. Now you just plot the output so that you can understand that yeah, the signal is getting repeated after n cycles continuously in periodic format. So this is all about periodic convolution. I hope you have understood this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section below. I'll answer all of them. Till then, like my video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.